Good evening, I'm Matt Horn. It's been nearly a week since a deadly house fire in Youngstown Southside killed two grandparents and their 10 year old granddaughter. Today, people were out to pay their final respect for the three. 27 First News reporter Derek Lewis has been covering this story all week long. He joins us live from Boardman with what people are saying. I've been standing in this parking lot here since 2 o'clock this afternoon. We've been giving the family some space. That's what we decided to do out of respect. But if you take a look at the parking lot of the funeral home, you can see that many of the cars have cleared out, but that was not how it looked earlier today. It was hard for many people to find a parking spot. I spoke to a couple of people who made it inside, and they told me there were at least 200 people who were inside today. Take a look at this video from earlier. Shortly before 3 p.m., a line started to form for calling hours. Not just the family, but people from the community were here as well. Many from the deaf community. People inside told me the funeral service was in sign language and that there was an English interpreter. There were TV screens in the halls for people who couldn't get a seat. Inside, there were two different viewing areas, one for the grandparents and one for the little girl. Many people have been rotating in and out. Kareen's aunt came up to me and we talked about the emotional state the family is in right now. Attitudes are flaring and, you know, they're angry, but, you know, we're all staying together and, and, and we're all hurting and we're just, we're going to stay close. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Youngstown Mayor John McNally was here as well. He didn't want to speak on camera, but he did tell me that it was very emotional inside. Tonight at 11, I'll have the details on why there were two different viewing areas for the family. Live in Boardman, Derek Lewis, WKBN 27 First News. Thanks, Derek. Now, little 10-year-old Corinne Gump's funeral is set for Monday. Candlelight vigil and fundraiser will be held Tuesday to help the family pay for funeral expenses. The vigil and benefit will happen where the deadly fire happened on Powers Way in Youngstown. Now, for more details, you can go to our website, WKBN.com. We'll continue working on this story all afternoon for you. We'll have more on the tragedy and the investigation tonight at 11.